What's going on guys and welcome to my second episode of Block Mayhem. The first thing you'll probably notice right now is I have finally took the time to update my shaders mod to the latest Minecraft. So as you can see, Block Mayhem looks even more spectacular than usual. As I said, I'm going to start running on with my little inside single player let's build. And as you can see, this is what we built in the last episode. What, what's happened since is actually all the trees I planted have now grown, making this bridge look even more just subtle and majestic into the landscape and also I've added in these these um these trapdoors along the side to add that extra bit of decoration also uh, although today what we're actually going to build is the stables at my house what I am also going to do in a later episode is build a small project here as you can see I've circled off this area to accommodate that and just ensure no one else can block my hand but just built here and just reserve that space for me because I do plan to extend the trees out this way but for now, that's all in the future. We better get on with these stables. As we get back to the homestead now and the sun rises, well, I'm actually gonna show you what I plan to build. So, if we run all the way out here, sorry, I've got a bit of an OCD about closing gates. <laughs> so if we run all the way out here, a neat little trick will actually let us get on, get on the roof of my house, do a little bit of parkour, you might say, across the tree line. And I'll show you what the plan is. Where we are currently stood on these on these treetops is, in fact, where the stables will go. I want them adjacent to that. I want to keep this little tree line here. But then here is where the stables will go. Raised. Oh, let's avoid that guy there. Raised upon this hillside. But more importantly, I also want a pasture for these horses because currently they are kept in quite a small little pen over there, and that means that I don't know. Just even though it's Minecraft, it's, it, it doesn't. It really, I just I want it to be quite a nice little area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the stables here and build out a nice field right here, which I will have to wall and fence off just to prevent people who people new people coming to Block Mayhem perhaps and building in this area. So I just want to. So that's basically the project for this episode. So to begin this. What that means we're going to have to do is an absolute ton of deforestation. So I'm going to get along with this and see you in a moment. As I'm just taking out the last tree here, I've actually come down to the bottom of the pasture now. Like I've moved down from the top and down to where, down to where the end of the fence will go. But as you can see, there was a great hole in the ground that obviously has to be filled up. I've not actually been down here before. I've never actually seen this and obviously someone else has. So it would seem we have quite a colossal cave system beneath the house, which um, is kind of unfortunate, really. I mean, it could have other sproutings, and that could be why there's quite a quite a high density of mobs in this area. So I'm just going to clear this up, and then that will actually conclude the destruction of the local trees. Now, to st obviously, any, I'm not going to have if I want these horses to be roaming in these fields. I do plan to get more than just two horses. I'm obviously going to have to prevent them from escaping. So. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try and see how much wood I've got and whether I can actually make an absolutely huge fence system that will go all the way around. So let's have a look what we've got. As you can see here, I've sourced a great number of fences. That was a lot of like that. That was a big bite into my wood supply, but it's obviously going to be 100% necessary. So I want to keep the same style I've got running through my little project here. It's very much a fence design. It's very simple, and then using cobblestone on the bases. That can be seen the same on the old pasture over there. So the kind of the plan is, I've tried to line up there so I can run the fence down here along the bottom and back up this way to create quite a nice like rectangular shape you could say so if I line up nicely here what I can do is simply place it along here like so I'm not bothered about um, defa defa deformations in the ground I don't want the field to be perfectly flat because oh, I need to go grab my pick again because that would be um, a little bit unrealistic and I just quite like the fact that it's that it's not flat it has its dips and like troughs so I can put a little lake in a little bit of extra decoration you know that kind of thing so then obviously this simple design will, will be like along here like so which will just mean like the, the horses won't be able to escape and it'll just give them a nice big pasture so I'm gonna actually just finish this off by bringing this up here I'm actually gonna run this design all the way around as you can see due to the nighttime and this vast dark woodland surrounding this I am actually going to have to uh, call it a night and go and take refuge in my home because this is just ridiculous I need some arrows I need to deal with these and wait till the daytime good god 
Look how many there are. I was killing them, and obviously they respawn exponentially. So we're gonna have to just sit tight and wait till the sun rises. Night has finally passed, and I've fi I've been able to add the final few fences to this pasture. As you can see in this beautiful daylight now, we can see the fence extends all the way around, keeping out those horrible mobs either side. They still actually have a little bit of a problem from jumping over the trees, because it would seem the mobs have become quite considerably more skillful since the last time we met. So they can now jump over the trees. Well, they jump on through the trees, which I means I'm gonna have to cover up those later. But for now, it's looking pretty, pretty good. So. Although I'm going to add some extra little details, possibly in off-camera, such as the lake when I mentioned earlier, it's now time to build the stables. So, what we're actually going to have to do first is, as you can see, it's quite still hilly, so I'm going to, this fence is actually going to be removed. If you can kind of gather what I'm trying to do is, I'm going to remove this fence here, have the stables lead directly into this pasture here, and then create a second gate here, which will lead on through the woods and back towards the Block Mayhem spawn, which is kind of the overall plan for this, all linking back towards that spawn point. So. Let's, I better start landscaping. There we go, as you can see, I've knocked this hillside nicely back and also discovered a second entrance into that colossal cave. As you can see, it also enters over there. So I'm about wondering perhaps if maybe that's how they got in and ended up over there, not started over there and gone this way. So what we're gonna quickly do is cover up this entrance and then as soon as we've done this and made this area completely safe, because I can hear a zombie in the background, which is a little bit off-putting. Uh, as soon as we've made this area completely safe, uh, we're gonna get on with building the stables there we go we've actually made this area nice and safe now as long as I don't dig through there someday I'm sure I'll be fine so what I'm actually gonna do now is gonna grab a little double chest and place it here and basically have all the materials all the tools we're gonna need to build maybe grab some extra ones I think we might need and then we're gonna get along with building so I'll see you in a moment Alright guys, so I've set up all the gear we're going to need and also cut out the hole in which the access route for the horses into the pasture will follow. So we're just going to begin by creating quite a big structural template. By I've lined up these torches because I've just I kind of had a beforehand here, just had a quick figure out how big I actually want it. And I feel just a nice small size like this will be hugely sufficient for what we actually need this stable for. Because in fact it's only holding two horses, but I have also got kind of a backup plan. If in fact I do need more stables, the design I've created will actually, you know, help. It will, it will mean I can just extend it along symmetrically and create more stables w whenever I really need them. So this is kind of a bit of a bit of an, a simple design in the same style as the house I've already created. So as you can see, it's creating this nice big template. I'm going to have to get used to this very much so is um, trying to um, build without my flying ability because as you can see it's quite impairing and can be quite dangerous depending on uh, how good you are at keeping level. Uh, there we go. Okay so as you see that is basically the main size we're going for. What I mean by the same style of house is we're going to try and recreate this kind of this style of front using the same materials and the same kind of overall design so that is kind of i'm going to implement that on a much bigger scale which in fact means grabbing some more gear from here so what we're actually going to do as well we're actually going to need some stairs so we won't need many stairs because i've premeditated this idea after i've got a good vision in my head of what i actually want it to look like so this actually means doing something like so I'm just going to the right size, I think so, and then building these outwards. So as you can see, we can then later extend the fence down here and just have like a funnel in and out. And also, I can add it, implement some sort of doorway that will let me just access it from the side door of my house. So I can already hear skeletons though gathering in the surrounding area. But also, I might just be able to grab all this. I'll just grab it as I go because I'll oh, we'll grab this because what now we need to do is extend these upwards nicely like so bring out these at the same time and actually bringing these inwards. Now what I didn't actually make, but what, what I didn't bring but I can make is um, I can use these and make some, oh, no like this, we can make some of these, I don't know, uh, these slabs and then we can make some of these like so and then these can just be added to that extra bit of decoration. Yes, I'm liking that idea. This is looking good, actually. So then what we're also going to do is extend this inwards and have quite a nice open plan kind of feel. So if we're going to have the doors on the inside, so then we can 
extend these like so and then as you can see it's quite already coming to like starting to shape quite nicely actually quite happy with how this is going so then oh, as you'd expect we're going to extend the same exact same kind of style out here we're going to just remove that but then what i am actually going to grab now is oh no actually for this idea actually because for the side i don't want it to be quite as obstruse on the outside i don't know if that's the right word actually i don't want the outside to be like like it's quite raised out as far as it is so and this i'm implementing the roof design slightly here so what we're actually going to grab is we're going to grab some of this and um, we're going to make some stairs because stairs are what we're going to use for the roof so i'm going to grab all these and just make an absolute ton of stairs that will do sh i'm sure so then what we're actually going to do is you'll see what i mean now is we're going to extend the stairway out like so and yeah, I'm quite liking that idea. And then what I might actually do is bring this downwards like that. Uh, is that too, is that, should that be on the, no, I quite like that on the outside actually. That looks quite nice. So, what we're also now going to do is we need to get up onto this main rooftop, which means we're going to need some of this. This is what I brought this for. I'll use up all this old wood from previous build, the build of the house actually, that I haven't used. And we're actually going to try and implement this onto the rooftop here. So, what I'm going to actually do is, I'm going to bring this upwards like so. And then, what we're going to uh, finish this off with is adding in this design. Just adding in that extra bit of detail. And then we're going to actually cross these wooden planks along this side. Is that looking good? Yeah, I'm liking the look of this. What we actually need are some of these, some stairs actually made out of this. So, we're going to quickly jump back down here. And I'm gonna make just a just a nice amount. I've got plenty of wood back inside, so I can go and grab it all if I do run out. I'm gonna extend that by one more, and I'm gonna add that in there. And then this will be quite a nice little variation for the colour of the roof. I might do a quick like jump with the roof, like the way the way the way it's built. If you get what I mean, like I don't need to show you all of the roof being constructed, do I? Because that would be quite quite laborious, really. So maybe we've got that. Uh, no. Let's have it like you'd expect really and then extend up the roof like so uh, and then the same on this side and then as you can expect then the roof's going to extend all the way nicely along here yeah i think this is working nice right i'm just going to quickly do the roof off camera there we go i've now finished the roof but i'm going to add just change one little detail about it actually i'm going to remove these on each corner and actually edit this front end. The back end doesn't really matter because of the way it, it falls onto the cliff there, so the back we don't really have to concentrate on. But the front just needs a little bit of a redesign in some respects. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna extend it out like this, and then hopefully when I add this, yes, so then it makes that nice little, just that nice little room just curled off each side. So I'm gonna extend this out, and just, oh, oh dear, oh dear, that is not what we wanted. I'm gonna put that there, remove that, and then ta-da! The roof is actually complete. So I'm just gonna add in two final little touches, which are of course the little gates just to prevent the horses getting out unnecessarily. As you see, we've got a nice flat roof here because of the way we've designed it. So we're gonna, oh, just need to bring this outwards like so. And then for the back design, even though it's really matte, I'm gonna actually plant some trees here and have trees grow around this area. I'm actually gonna use the uh, the stairs that we've got left over really in this sort of design. Just a bit of a more intricate, a little bit more, add, add that little bit of extra detail, you know, that kind of stuff you'd expect. And overall, I feel I've um, made some nice little, some nice little staples. I am going to now, obviously, extend out this, um, this just the way the fence moves to prevent the horses escaping out each side. Which then means they, the fence is now nicely linked onto the rest of the, uh, the stable. I'm actually just going to have to make a few more. Uh, there, boom, and then, like so, we're gonna have lots and lots of fences. I've made a complete mess of that, but who cares, right? Oh, now we've got third. Oh, did I have that many already? Oh, my bad. Right, anyway, so now, as you can see, it quite seamlessly integrates into the rest of the pasture. And I feel it works quite nicely. What we're gonna do is, due to the shade, this darkness becomes incredibly dark, so it's gonna be very important that it's well lit so we're going to use this the opportunity we've got here with these beams to make sure it's well lit we don't have mobs spawning in here and just overall i've made quite a nice little this layer i'm quite proud of it actually what am i also going to do is i might add in a back door for my personal use or perhaps a little side gate here actually no i might do that i add in a little side gate here 
And there we go, just added in that nice little extra gate here, and it's now actually time to bring the horses round. So, I did mention it in the previous episode that this is where the, the gate will basically be, for where the horses can come down from the stables and back towards spawn. So, I'm actually going to work this out here by pulling this away like so, and then, where is my axe? I'm going to actually build a gate in a very similar style to what we've got on the other side of the pasture. So we're going to bring out the nice like fences here and just create them a little bit more tall because obviously the horses are actually going to have to have to get through this gate as well because it can be very precarious trying to squeeze them through tiny little gates. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to just extend this up like so. Uh, like that? Is that how I want it? Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, so we're going to extend it up like that. We're going to use the remainder of these, uh, these, these uh, stairs we've got by using them on e either side of it, like so, and we're going to try and, if I can, possibly, uh, maybe I'll run across the tree line after that, might make a little bit more sense than just building something man made, so we're going to quickly jump onto here, and jump across onto here, and then use this as a possibility to build us a nice little gate, so we're going to extend this along like so, Finish it off like that, and then I've actually made a lot of gates, so we can actually have a nice amount of security at the Oh, why is it done there? Oh no, how disappointing. Well, anyway, I'll extend, I'll put those in off camera perhaps, because obviously it's not having any good today. What I'll also do is just for that extra bit of detail, add in this. Oh, no, no, not there, not there. We're going to remove that and place it there. Now, just extra last bit of detail for access in and out of the field. And now, guys, we're coming to the end of this episode. I'm just bringing DeLorean out of his old, tiny, little, depressing pen now. And through the beautiful woodland, we've got navigating around my 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 house. I think it's been a successful episode. I've already integrated um, Marty up, and he's, he's cozy in the stables. And I'm going to leave DeLorean out in the open. So I'm going to bring him out here. And I'm actually going to just... We're going to bring him up here, and I'll just tie him to the fence. But then, what I'll do is I'll... I'll pull the fence off. So there you go, DeLorean. You're now free in your brand new home. Off camera, I might do a little bit of extra details here and there. Maybe add in that little lake I spoke of earlier, just that kind of stuff. And then obviously, they'll let the trees grow around it. Because as you can see, the trees are growing around it and making it look even more fabulous. Here's Marty in here. We can actually we can unpin him. We don't want him, you know just stuck against the fence. He's my horse. Look at them. Look at them, my beautiful two little horses. I'm going to get a third horse, uh, but I want him to be a nice silver horse. That's what I want last. I'm going to call him Doc Brown. So we'll have Marty, DeLorean, and Doc Brown. So, as you can see, we've, done, we've added a nice little feature to my house now. So we've got the farms, the house, and the stables with a huge pasture. We're going to work on another project in the next episode. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you all, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.